Hey guys, uh, Steele from uh, Insight Central uh, Endless Sphere. I'm going to do a quick video uh, showing my BMS Master, my slave boards. Um, I also got this little guy built, but this is for another day. I believe this is for the remote display, which um, that'll be a future, future project for now. But yeah, um, I'm just going to give you the lowdown here. So um, I just finished my boards uh, a while ago. Um, my goal within the next couple of weeks is to finally get this monitoring my battery. Um, just have not had the time, but um, I'm going to just show you everything I can here. Um, so yeah, we'll just start with the switch. So red, orange, black wire. That's how I wired it. Uh, red, orange, black wire. And it appears to be working fine, so that's good. Video output to the LCD. 12 volt feed for the LCD. 12 volt power for the BMS Master. These are the Master bus wires. Those two right there, the brown and the white. And they connect here. To my knowledge, I believe they do. I don't think I have that messed up. I'm not sure if the wires go in a certain order. But master data bus, master bus, assume that's right. And then there's another two wires I have hooked up, which say slave bus, slave data bus in. So again, I assume these two are wired correctly. Not 100%, so somebody please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, what else can I show you guys here? Um, so yeah. I have a 6S LiPo hooked up. I'm pretty sure I'm, I've wired this correctly. Negative uh, lead and then each cell until I get to my most positive, which is right there. So essentially, I'm trying to monitor a 6S pack for testing. This will eventually monitor 50 cells. Um, so let's show a bit of the menu. So you can see here, this is what the, the BMS master is doing right now. I think it's better if I keep the light on. So that's all it does. I don't know. I don't know why these characters are cut off like that. Or what the dealio is there. Erio. <laughs> Boat. Don't know. Um, here are the LEDs. This is what's happening here. Okay, so it looks like some kind of communication here. I don't know what that is doing. or, But I'll get a little bit of a flash every now and then. Um, here are my thermal sensor codes. So, Peter, if you're watching, I mean, these are the codes uh, that I had to provide you with. I'm not sure if you had to enter these in the software somehow, but I know you did want them. So, every thermal sensor has a unique code, and these are the two codes for my BMM, BMS Master. So, please make a quick note of those. And... Uh, all right, so I'm going to show you. Um, so I'm just going to point out, so I'm missing my thermal sensors. Those are not connected right now. Um, and I do not have my current sensor hooked up right now. So that's why you'll notice the current is a little bit weird, or not reading, reading properly right now. Let's turn this light back on. And uh, all right, so let's see here. So I'm going to go down. Actually, sorry, I'm going to... Go to center key. I'm going to go through the options here. All right, so this is uh, when I push the center button. Uh, those are my options. So there's state of charge reset. Um, I think up is trip re uh, reset as well. I'm not sure what the last two are ET trip, ET odometer. But there's some other options. So we're going to go to the menu number two. Uh, slave update. So, um, well, I'm gonna go to number of cells. Actually, I'm gonna go down. So I got this set at six already. So that is good. I'm gonna go back in here. Hold on, let me get there. Okay. So temp rom. I think that's what I used to read the temperature cells, the temp temperature sensors, and I got the codes out of them. So that was good. Number of cells I've entered six. Slave update. I don't know what this is. I have no idea. Don't want to mess with it. There's different command numbers. I 
don't know what these are. Like you can see it goes to 13 and then down. Don't know what that is or if they're doing anything. So I'm just going to go no right now because I don't know what it does. All right. Oh, what happened there? I think it glitched out. Yeah, I don't know what's happening now. I just noticed that these uh If you guys noticed that channel number changed for a second there. Again, I'm very uh kind of clueless with regards to what's happening here. But I just uh show you guys maybe someone can guide me in the right direction. So, I mean, other than that, everything's like it's working. It's uh, on. Uh, I don't know. The only thing is it's not communicating properly and I don't know. I'd like to figure out how to show my cell voltages on this display. Um, that was really one of the biggest reasons cell features for this is to see all my cell voltages. So I hope I can do that. But um, yeah, I mean, that's all the options I see here. I don't know what unused is. I have no idea what this is. Toggle, comp, text bit, no idea. And I don't know what these options are. I can change them. I don't, again, I don't know what those are. So yeah. That's pretty much it. Um, yeah, so I'll leave it at that for now. Um, yes, uh, if there's any feedback you guys have or anything you want to say, let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you.